This week's question is, what happened to the false fountain and does it still exist? So if you're too young or new to Louisville, then you've probably never seen or heard of it. It was turned on in 1988, an Ohio River fixture for a decade. Uh, when it was on and working, many loved it, but when it was off and floating, some found it to be an eyesore. It's great. It's pretty. The lights have a, make the water have a beautiful background. Some people have fond memories of the false fountain that once gushed from the Ohio River. It's been gone now for more than 25 years, and people still wonder exactly what happened to it. But the world's largest floating fountain had lots of issues. It's too far away. The bottom is too big. I'm just not impressed with it. The fountain didn't always work. One day it was on, and the next it was off. Kelly Deering Smith with the Louisville Water Company remembers it well. And when I came to work at Louisville Water Company, I never really thought that we would be in charge of maintenance for the fountain, but we were for a short time. Deering Smith says the water company managed it for a short span, but ultimately the fountain was too costly to maintain. My understanding, it was more mechanical issues. Um, it's and maybe that has to do with the water, maybe that has to do with the river, maybe that just has to do with how the fountain it was. It was sold and taken to McBride's fleet in New Albany, where it remains to this day tied to a barge. No one knows if it will ever function again, but Louisville water officials do know they will have no part in it. We make drinking water now. We're not in the business of fountains. And just a little backstory on how it came to be. The fountain was bought for more than $2 million by the Mingham family and others, and it was sold for a mere $15,000 to the McBride Company in Indiana. To submit your questions, just find the Ask Carrie tab on the WLKY Facebook page.